18 children killed at Texas Elementary School. Tuesday's school massacre in Texas was the bloodiest U.S. school shooting in years. The assault in Uvalde, Texas, an hour from the Mexican border, is the latest in a spate of fatal shootings in America, where grief at the cycle of gun murder has failed to motivate action to halt it. Governor Greg Abbott said the 18-year-old shooter shot his grandmother before entering Robb Elementary School with a pistol and maybe a rifle. Salvador Ramos is a local resident and U.S. citizen, the governor added. Senator Roland Gutierrez of Texas informed CNN that three people killed in the assault, although it's unclear whether that includes the gunman. Small groups of youngsters weaved around parked automobiles and yellow buses as they escaped the school, which serves seven to ten-year-olds. It was the bloodiest such occurrence since the 2012 Sandy Hook tragedy in Connecticut. The victims' murders triggered a wave of anguish across a nation still devastated by Sandy Hook. After being informed on the tragedy, President Biden addressed the country. Karine Jean-Pierre, White House press secretary, said Biden would be updated periodically. Second through fourth graders at Robb Elementary School, where the majority of the student body is Hispanic and economically challenged were instructed to delay picking up their bags until everyone had been found. The Texas attack follows other mass shootings this month. On May 14, an 18-year-old shot 10 people at a grocery store in Buffalo, New York. The self-proclaimed white supremacist livestreamed his assault, targeting the supermarket because of its substantial African-American population. The next day, a man blocked the entrance of a church in Laguna Woods, California, and opened fire, killing one and injured five. Multiple proposals to modify gun rules have failed in Congress, enabling states and local governments to increase or decrease their own restrictions. The NRA has opposed stronger gun legislation. Abbott and Cruz will appear at a prominent lobbies event in Houston this week. The CDC reported 19,350 firearm murders in 2020, up 35% from 2019.